Hey everybody, this is Chris Shelton, founder of InternalMillionaire.com. I've had a lot of people over the past few weeks ask me, Chris, how do you buy gold? How do you buy silver? And should I buy any other commodities out there? First, what I want to show you is how to buy silver. And the first thing to think about when you're needing to buy silver is your exit strategy. You need to ask yourself, what do I plan on doing with the gold and silver after I get it? You shouldn't buy gold and or silver and just hold on to it. You actually need a lifelong plan of the investment debt itself. So step two, you have to have a plan. Now there's a few different plans to do. You can actually buy it and exchange it for real estate later. Of course you're going to go from gold to a cash to real estate because at the time cash is not going to be worth very much. The second plan that you could have is for personal reasons. If you're holding numismatic coins like quarters and half dollars or dollars, something that the government has printed that just has a personal tangible value, intrinsic value to you, then you're going to need a different plan. But if you're, just, if you're buying gold and silver as an investment, you should be buying different types of gold and silver than those people who are actually trying to just secure what they have. So if you're just trying to hold on to your money or your investments or your assets, you need to be buying certain types of gold and silver out there so that when the dollar crashes, the gold and silver is actually going to stay floating and you're not going to be hurt as bad. But if you're investing with it, you're going to need to be buying different types. And we'll get into that a little bit later. The third thing that you need to think about when you buy gold and silver, you want to figure out how much you can buy. When you're thinking about how much gold and silver you need to buy, you need, again, you need to go back to your plan and you need to say, what am I planning on doing with it? I am doing I am buying 90% silver, 10% gold. But again, I have a plan of what I plan on doing with it. I and the people that I associate with, we plan on selling our gold and silver, most of it, when gold and silver are all commodities become overvalued and then by real estate at the same point should be highly undervalued or over undervalued. I don't know if that makes sense. So that's it. So when buying gold and silver, you need to think about how you're going to get out because you shouldn't buy gold and silver just to hold on to it unless you just want to put your cash or your assets or security into something that's going to hold value. And that will be gold and silver. But if you plan on investing your money with it and making more or obtaining more assets with gold and silver, you need to know what to do with it. That's your exit strategy, your plan. You can have a few different plans. Be sure to send me an email at cshelton at internalmillionaire.com. I'll write that right here. I hope you can see that. It's C. Shelton at internalmillionaire.com. We will get into four later. I just wanted to give you an introductory on how to get started and how to buy gold. I'll show you the companies, or if you send me an email, I'll send you the companies that I buy from. I've done a lot of investigating on this, a lot of research, and I've spoken to many, many of these gold and silver retailers. And I think I've found the cheapest one to buy or the cheapest minimum markup on gold and silver. So 
Uh, be sure to send me an email. Go to my website, internalmillionaire.com, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks.